It's wonderful. It's wonderful. It's something the sport has been pushing for for many years now. Um, in that the, the, the sport has needed a major event. There's incredible activity happening around powerboat racing every single year. So we've been looking for a model for a number of years and trying to find an event that, that delivers everything that people want nowadays in modern sports. Real adventure, real adrenaline, um, elements of danger. Boats that are at the very, very peak of what can be achieved right now in boating. And that's exactly what these guys have. We're expecting enormous numbers at it, and we know that we can deliver spectacle. So we think that combination of wonderful sport and great excitement combined with wonderful shoreside festivals, it should be a winner. Yeah, the Venture Cup is an exciting thing. It's uh, over 100 years old. It's a really prestigious trophy, and we're really looking forward to, uh, to our participation in it. We're very lucky we've got uh, interest from a number of uh, very high profile people. We've uh, uh, David Gandhi um, was, is going through our training process at the moment, and Bruno Senna's another guy we're getting trained up. And uh, the exciting thing is it's, uh, it's a different format of racing. It's not uh, ultimately the fastest boat, it's a marathon of several days. You'll have to to prepare for stuff to go wrong and, and have all that in mind and, and planning preparation will uh, prevent a poor performance. Well I'm just really glad to have the Venture Cup coming to Ireland. I think it's a, a great honour to have such a great event coming to Ireland as its first, its first real test and I think Ireland as a venue will be superb. Definitely with this whole new format that Venture Cup will bring to powerboat racing it's going to be a lot more accessible from the spectators point of view. The inshore races especially racing around Cork Harbour um, go away bay out to the Iron Islands and back. From a spectator's point of view, that's something you don't often get in offshore powerboat racing. To be not only doing these distances over such a long period of time, but also to be doing those kind of speeds and trying to either keep up or keep ahead of the rest of the pack, it's going to be very, very challenging and definitely the biggest thing I've taken on so far.